If you decide to take a trip to California's beautiful Yosemite National Park this summer, get ready for some big changes. Sawani so Hotel, Curry Village, Badger Pass Ski Area, Wawona Hotel, places that have been on maps in California for 100 years were being discarded because of a dispute with the National Park Service concessionaire. California State Assembly member Ken Cooley is talking about historic heritage park locales in Yosemite Valley that have been renamed by the National Park Service, not because they wanted to, but because they were forced to. A company had trademarked these names and was insisting upon payment of a large sum of money uh, before anyone else could use these names, including Yosemite National Park. It's an unbelievable situation, especially for Assemblymember Cooley, whose grandparents worked in Yosemite Valley. Uh, this is the 1940s. This is at Mirror Lake. A place where he took his children camping many times. This is my personal walking stick. I've been adding little things to it for a quarter century. I got it walking near Curry Village. And before this dispute, had you asked me, I would have said this is, I picked it up by Curry Village in 1990. And Curry Village has been renamed Half Dome Village because of this trademark dispute. The Iwani Hotel is now the majestic Yosemite Hotel. The Wawona Hotel has been renamed the Big Trees Hotel. And Badger Pass Ski Area is now Yosemite Ski and Snowboard Area. These are long established names in California. And although Assemblymember Cooley can't do anything about the trademarking issues in national parks, he can work to make sure this type of thing won't happen in California state parks. That's why he authored Assembly Bill 2249, the California Heritage Protection Act. My bill simply says that in California, you cannot qualify, you cannot meet the threshold conditions of being a concessionaire if you have had the practice of trademarking the locations where you've been a concessionaire in other places. That would be disqualifying as an incompatible activity. Cooley wants to make sure no concessionaire ever does this in a California state park. It's really a Heritage Protection Act, just saying that we want to protect the special heritage of California. Assemblymember Cooley is hoping other states will follow suit, putting even more pressure on concessionaires who try to trademark historic locales. All of these places were on the national list of registered historic places, but the names have been abandoned because of this trademark dispute. It's surreal. This report was produced by the Speaker's Office of Member Services.